Here's our next problem. An object is moving with a velocity of positive 24 meters per second when it begins slowing down. The magnitude of its acceleration is 9 meters per second squared. What is the object's velocity when its displacement is positive 25 meters from the point where it began slowing down? An object is moving with velocity of positive 24 meters per second when it begins slowing down. The magnitude of its acceleration is 9 meters per second squared. What is the object's velocity when its displacement is positive 25 meters from the point where it began slowing down? Please do two things. First, carefully copy this problem uh, into your notes. Make sure you copy it accurately. Uh, and then, uh, again with the video paused, try the problem. Try to use our systematic approach and systematic notation. Alright, first we want to draw the path. Um, let's say we're moving to the right. They didn't tell us if we're moving, what direction we're moving, so we can say we're moving horizontally to the right, just to make things more concrete. Let's label this a little bit more. We can say this distance is 25 meters. Uh, we decided we're moving to the right, so that means our velocity is to the right. Uh, the velocity tells you which way you're moving. So if we're deciding that we're moving to the right, the velocity is to the right. Now, what direction is our acceleration? Well, remember the problem said we're slowing down. Uh, well, to slow down, you have to be accelerating opposite to the velocity. If the velocity is to the right and we're slowing down, then the acceleration has to be to the left. When you're speeding up, the acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity. When you're slowing down, the acceleration is opposite to the velocity. Those are some important points. So please notice here, the acceleration doesn't tell you which way you're moving. We're moving to the right, but we're accelerating to the left. The acceleration is not intended to tell you which way you're moving. That's a common mistake. It's the velocity's job to tell you which way you're moving. The velocity tells you which way you're moving. The acceleration, for one-dimensional motion, the acceleration just tells you whether you're speeding up or slowing down. How does it do that? Well, if the acceleration is pointing in the same direction as the velocity, you're speeding up. And if the acceleration is pointing opposite to the velocity, you're slowing down. That's the acceleration's job. It's not the job of the acceleration to tell you um, what direction you're moving in. That's the velocity's job. So even though we're moving to the right, it's totally possible we could be accelerating to the left. That was our step one. Now we're ready for step two, uh, choose positive direction and axes. It's normally a good idea to choose the direction of motion as the positive direction. Uh, we decided to imagine we're moving to the right. So let's say that to the right is our positive direction, and we'll call that the x direction. We can kind of skip step three. If you're only working in one dimension, there really are no components to break things down into. So let's go on to the very important step four and write down our kinematics variables. Uh, displacement, the initial x, the final x, acceleration x, and time. Now we're going to read word for word and write down all the numbers in the right place and the question in the right place. The object is moving with velocity of 24 meters per second. I hope it was clear to you that that was the initial velocity. From the wording here, it's moving that with, with that velocity when it begins slowing down. So this is at the beginning of the problem. So the initial velocity was positive 24. That was the velocity at this initial point, when it began slowing down. Don't forget the positive sign. When it begins slowing down, the magnitude of its acceleration is 9 meters per second squared. Actually, let's go back. They said it began slowing down. Well, that already tells us about the acceleration. Uh, if it's slowing down, then the acceleration must be negative because it has to be opposite to the velocity. We already saw that up here. 
when you're slowing down, the velocity and the acceleration point in opposite directions. So if the velocity is pointing in the positive direction, the acceleration has to point in the negative direction. And the magnitude is 9. So I hope that nobody just wrote down the number 9. And I hope that nobody just wrote down positive 9. Um, the acceleration here is negative 9. This is starting to show us how crucial it is to always be thinking about the signs. Um, if you always write down the signs, then you're always thinking about them, and then you're less likely to make mistakes. Okay, so again, the idea here is that we're slowing down. That means that the acceleration and the velocity have to be pointing in opposite directions. So if the velocity is positive, the acceleration is negative. When, you're, when you are slowing down, the velocity and acceleration will have opposite signs. When you're speeding up, the velocity and acceleration will have the same sign. When you're speeding up, the velocity and the acceleration will have the same sign, because they're pointing in the same direction. When you're slowing down, the velocity and the acceleration will have opposite signs, because they're pointing in opposite directions. So here we have a negative sign. I think this might be the first time we've encountered a, a number with a negative sign. What is the object's velocity? Well, now they're asking us for the final velocity. Because they're asking, what's the velocity when its displacement is 25 meters? So they're asking, what's the velocity after we've gone 25 meters? Um, so now we are asking about the velocity at this point. So they're asking for the final velocity. When its displacement is 25 meters from where it began slowing down. Again, that shows us um, that this is asking for the velocity after it's begun slowing down at the final position. Ah, so it looks like I left out one piece of information. What is the object's velocity? That's the question. When its displacement is positive 25 meters. We better plug that in over here. So that's that displacement, positive 25 meters. OK, um, so that gives us uh, this displacement uh, over here, positive uh, 25. Again, don't forget to put in the sign. Always put in the sign both in front of negative and positive numbers. When are we ready to go on to step four and choose an equation when we've got three numbers? Well, we've got three numbers here. Number, number, number. We've got three numbers, so now we need to pick the right equation. We need to pick the equation that's missing the time. We don't care about the time. So let's pick the equation that's missing the time. This is the equation that's missing the time. Now we plug in. What should we plug in for v final? Well, we don't know v final, so we don't plug in for that. For v initial, we start with the parentheses to set off the sign. v initial is positive 24. Please don't start getting lazy. Always include the sign when you're originally plugging in. Put parentheses in so we can plug in the acceleration. Well, it has a negative 9. And again, here's where a lot of people would uh, make mistakes. When people are in a hurry, they could easily just plug in 9. But we're very conscious of signs now, so we're less likely to make that mistake. That should be negative 9. And then the displacement. Displacement is also a signed number, so that also requires parentheses, and that's going to be positive 25. Now we can simplify. 24 squared Twenty-four squared is five seventy-six. Now that we're doing calculations, we don't need to include the signs anymore. You only need the signs when you're plugging in. So I don't. I won't show that this is positive five seventy-six. All right, and here we have two times negative nine is negative eighteen, and we're multiplying that by twenty-five. Again, now we don't need to keep indicating the signs. Now that we're in the middle of solving. Eighteen times twenty five is four fifty. And five
576 minus 450 is 126. So using our calculator, we've gotten that v final x squared is 126. Now notice this is not the answer because this is only the final velocity squared. Make sure you're careful with your algebra. This is just the square of the final velocity. We still have to find the final velocity. Um, well, that is, again, we have to get this by itself. What can we do to both sides that will get rid of the square over here? Well, we have to do the opposite. What's the opposite of squaring something? The opposite of squaring something is taking the square root. If we took the square root of both sides, that would get rid of the squaring here on the left. So let's take the square root of both sides. 